Hi friends, my name is Raj and you are watching Tech White. If you are facing this blue screen error and you can see the error code as well, critical process died, your PC ran into a problem and needs to be restart. In this video, I will show you a troubleshooting method to fix this issue. So let's start. First, open advanced startup mode, go to your search box and type reset this PC. Now click on this option, reset this PC. Now in the advanced startup, click on restart now. So this option will open your advanced startup mode. Now wait for a few seconds. So this is your advanced startup mode. And if you are unable to open it, I will put a video link in description box. In that video, I have shown two methods to open your advanced startup mode in Windows 10 and Windows 11. So move on to a next step. Go to troubleshoot, click on it. Then click on advanced option. Then click on command prompt. Now click on your login username. Now enter your password if you have. Otherwise click on continue. Now you have to type a few commands to fix this issue. So let's start with our first command. Bootrec space slash fix MBR. Type this command then press enter. Now type the next command bootrack space slash fix boot press enter and you can see access denied don't worry type the next command boot sec space slash nt60 space sys type this command then press enter and you can see boot code was successfully updated now type this command again access denied type this command again bootrack space slash fix boot and you can see now this command is completed successfully now type the next command bootrack space slash rebuild press enter now type the next command sfc space slash scan now so this command will repair all the windows corrupted file type this command then press enter and this command will take around 5 to 10 minutes so the verification process completed 100%. Now type the next command chk dsk space c colon. Type this command then press enter. And this command will also take around 5 to 10 minutes to complete. So the process has been completed. Now type exit. And press enter. Now simply click on continue. And your issue will be fixed. And if you are still facing the same issue, the next step you can try is open this advanced data mode again, then click on troubleshoot, then click on advance option, then click on startup repair option. So this option will repair your startup files. And the final step you can try to fix if you are still getting the same issue. Open your advanced data mode again, go to troubleshoot. The final step you can try is reset this PC, select this option. So this option will reset your operating system. This option will reinstall your operating system. But if you choose the first option, keep my files. So your data and your files, your desktop data, your other partition data will remain safe in this process. Simply click on this option, keep my files. Then click on local reinstall. Now wait for a few seconds. Now you will get this option, reset this PC. So all the changes go back to their default mode. Keep personal files, so your data, your files, your other partition data, your desktop data, all the Excel file, images, videos will remain safe. But all the softwares will remove, as you can see the last line, all the softwares will remove in this process. So simply click on reset and your process will start and it will take around half an hour to complete. So these are the three steps you can apply to fix your blue screen error. This is all for the video. Thank you. Thanks for watching TechWide. Have a nice day.